Hello and welcome to Business Reporter's Digital Transformation Campaign. I'm Alastair Greener. Is it just investment in new technology and product stacks that can empower an organisation or something deeper down called legacy? This is what we're going to discuss today with the CIO of Three Ireland, Stephen Reedy, and the head of COE at Tory Harris, Karthik TS. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Not long ago, your organisation merged with Telefonica. Give us an idea of some of the biggest tech challenges that you encountered. Post the acquisition of uh, Telefonica by three, the biggest technical challenges we had, we had two IT stacks carrying, supporting two sets of customers. And therefore, we had quite a high cost base and our time to market was too long because for any changes or any new products and services that we wanted to offer, we had to make those changes on two sets of systems. So we embarked on a transformation through which we needed to consolidate from two, two IT stacks to one in order to reduce our cost base, uh, to radically uh, decrease our time to market, but most importantly, to deliver a compelling digital omnichannel customer experience to our customers. And how we did that is we built a new stack primarily with new technology delivering that digital experience. But by having a strong integration layer, we also were able to combine that new technology with some of our old but still very valuable legacy applications to deliver that, in, that end-to-end digital customer experience. It sounds like the transformation is so deep that the legacy systems are being discarded. So how do you make legacy systems coexist with new technology and new products and still maintain that customer promise? Coexistence with new technology is certainly possible only when you're able to API enable your legacy and make the data access seamless. This requires integration and API enablement, and we provide tools like Coupler that allow you to visually model the flows, build adapters, and seamlessly connect to your legacy applications. When you're going through a transformation and deciding what to keep and what to discard, uh, the key thing really is that you need to you know, reduce your, your cost base, uh, remove any security or uh, instability risks from, from your infrastructure. But obviously you also want to keep those applications, even though they may be on legacy infrastructure and have been around for a long time, they, they, they also continue to provide great value. So it's really about you know, driving new technology uh, with the flexibility and adaptability that it gives you, but retaining what gives true value to your customers through some of those legacy applications. And having a, an integration layer in between allows you to connect the old to the new in a seamless way. What does the Tory Harris integration solution and API gateway bring to the table? Uh, our integration layer is, is delivered by, through Tory Harris. Um, and they've been a very valuable and, uh, friend and, and partner to me for, over, over many years. And what they bring to the table is uh, both the technology and workforce which truly works uh, with the customer's uh, values and customer's objectives in, in mind. And technically what they deliver is a solution that is flexible and adaptable to, to meet the client's needs. Given that, how did you make the customer transition so seamless? We delivered a seamless customer transition by having a really sharp migration strategy from the old stacks into the new stack. And we made sure that we identified the key information that needed to be migrated in order to make sure that when our customers were migrated from the old stack to the new, that they essentially didn't really lose, we didn't lose any customer data. We had all of their billing information, their, their, their customer information intact 
but now deliver into a new set of systems that deliver to them a completely different look and feel in terms of how they uh, they're accessed our products and services, how they interacted with us, both our call center, uh, through our self-care applications, and through our online shop. So we retained all of the important customer data and transitioned that into the new systems. So our customers uh, essentially didn't have to do anything. They continued to do what they always did. However, post, post the transformation, post the migration, they you know, obviously saw that they uh, had a new experience, but without having to take any proactive action themselves, but also making sure that you know, they, they had all of the information that they had on the old systems were there for them in the new. So essentially, without, without losing any customer information, we were able to, to move them from the old to the new. And they would have seen that as a, a very positive move. We have enabled the telco to become more modular, um, where functionality can be pieced together uh, as needed by the users uh, to help them fit in their respective customer journeys. Um, so APIs and microservices are the tools uh, through which we enable a seamless customer experience. Uh, for telcos that have legacy systems, uh, we have a toolkit called the Legacy to Cloud Native Toolkit. Uh, it includes a set of tools, uh, solution accelerators and frameworks. It helps you with your code analysis. It helps you with creation of uh, cloud native applications. So we have a micro gateway, we have an environment automation tool, we have a test automation tool, we have a stubbing tool. So all these tools help you in accelerating your integration. So this is one of our core offerings. This is what we do for a living. We have been doing this for the last 20 years using the latest technologies in this space. How does integration help succeed with full stack solutions? I would factor three models of integration for my digital transformation. Model number one, integrating legacy and cloud through an integration framework, API gateways, and supporting new customer journeys required for the digital offerings. Model number two, combining legacy with microservices and using microservices to develop custom capabilities that are not part of the legacy. So this way, any capabilities required for the digital business models are supported through a combination of legacy and containerized microservices. Model number three, using the integration layer to use legacy microservices and SaaS based applications. So this way, all three models together will be used based on a decision matrix from the legacy to cloud native kit to help me decide which model is best suited for a particular use case. No, no full stack solution, no solution covers the entire scope of, of what's required to deliver uh, what our customers expect and what they've experienced through, through many years of loyalty with, with, with us. So the integration layer essentially allows us to keep the valuable old applications that continue to deliver value, uh, but bring in that new flexible adaptable technology that allows us to deliver a compelling omni-channel customer experience. And it's the integration layer that enables us to do that in a cost-effective and safe way. Let's imagine I'm the CEO of an organization and I'm planning a major digital transformation. Give me an idea of the things that I need to consider and plan in order to succeed. Number one, leverage your strengths. That's your technology, your brand, and your customer reach. The digital need amongst your customers is stronger than ever. Gaps get filled very quickly. Don't give chance to startups and digital natives. Don't lose out. Number two, make the coexistence of modern applications and legacy efficient through integration. Legacy and modern applications is going to coexist for quite some time. A full transition is hard and often not required. Number three, think beyond connectivity. Think in terms of business solutions and new digital offerings that you can take to our customers to improve their lives. First of all, you need a real compelling vision of what the objectives of that transformation is. A vision that everybody can buy into, both your employees, your customer base and, and your delivery partners. We also 
you also need to have uh, constant communications to the, to the entire organization. Keep re-emphasizing why it's important for you as a business to, to continue on, on this transformational journey, the benefits that it's going to give your, your customers, your employees, and, and your shareholders. So that, that's a constant theme to, to keep on driving. Another key activity is really is, is picking the right delivery partners, uh, making sure that those delivery partners, A, buy into the, into the vision, but also work collaboratively with each other and with you as a business and with your IT department. That's very key. And the final, the final key ingredient is, of course, to have a CIO, brilliant CIO, that delivers it for you. Stephen Reedy from Three Island and Karthik TS from Tory Harris, thank you. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you very much.